Hello physical fiends, it's Jordan here again with a nice quick update on some new physical game announcements. Just a reminder, these are new announcements. These are not releasing this week, okay? Let's start with one I am mildly involved with. Tadpole Treble is a Nintendo Switch exclusive physical and you can grab it from premium edition games like right now. This is an adorable and fun rhythm game with plenty of content, especially since you can make your own stages and levels with the music creator. This is a very positively received game, as you'll see from its Metacritic score. You can pre-order it right now in a standard edition or a retro edition, which comes with a lovely soundtrack CD and many nice things. We package things really well and you get a special pre-order bonus dog tag. Check the links below for that. And yeah, by the way, if you want any of the games shown here today, then please do check the links below. If you purchase via my links, well, I'm just super grateful. If you purchase from VGP, remember you get free worldwide shipping if you purchase over 80 Canadian dollars, which is about 60 American dollars. And you're also put into a chance of winning a $10 discount coupon like every week. And I announce the winner every Monday over on Switch Watch. PM Studios recently announced a wealth of new physical releases. They always tend to have some nice indie stuff going on. Super Alloy Ranger is a highly rated 2D side-scrolling action game. You'll be running, jumping, mid-air dashing, your usual stuff. If you like Mega Man X or Zero, you'll probably fit right at home with this one. This is releasing in July. Mercenaries Lament Requiem of the Silver Wolf is another game in the Mercenaries saga. There are so many on the Switch now, it's really difficult to keep up with them. These are like indie Final Fantasy Tactics games and they're supposed to be decent and getting better. Made by Iridion who also did Cross Tales, which I think is fantastic. So I'm hopeful this one is good too, releasing physically on Switch and PS5 also in July. Marble It Up Ultra is a very unique game, not something you see often these days. I remember when the original Marble It Up released on the Switch many years ago. Well, uh, this Ultra release, I believe, is a brand new game, even though the name indicates it's like a definitive version. But no, it is a separate release, and many consider it to be even better than the original one, which was fun if you have the patience for it. This is a Switch physical, and it's also releasing in July. Captain Toonhead vs the Punks from Outer Space is the odd one out in this PM Studios bunch because it's not releasing on the Switch, no, it's on PS5 and PSVR 2 is required. Way to make your product as niche as possible, but I understand why it's a first person tower defense game that looks surprisingly cool. This one is releasing in late June. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants Unleashed is different to Wrath of the Mutants, which I mentioned a few weeks back. That's releasing in June, and this, uh, I don't know, it's a new announcement. It's been published by Outright Games, which means it's probably not very good, but probably better than the one from Game Mill. I mean, you're choosing between dog shit and hamster shit at this point, but there's definitely one that's worse. Star Wars Outlaws is getting released this August on PS5 and Xbox in both a standard edition as well as a gold edition, which gives you a season pass, puke, as well as being able to play three days earlier than the peasants. You may know that I'm working on a huge Star Wars game retrospective on A Bit More Jordan, my other channel. In fact, the first part of it is on my Patreon right now. And I'm hoping to get that out before this game comes out because, you know, it might help with the algorithm. It's by Ubisoft, so you kind of know what to expect. I think they might have been better with sticking with EA. The Wreck is a visual novel type game that's from Red Art Games on Switch and PS5. On their website you can get the deluxe edition which includes some extra goodies, but the standard edition will be available at retail in Europe, although Video Games Plus will carry some standard editions. If you do want to get this from their website, redartgames.com, you can get 10% off with the code SWATCH10. Reviews for this are rather positive, although it's supposed to be quite short, so that might be an issue. RPG Maker with finally did get announced for a Western physical release on Switch, PS4 and PS5, releasing this October on, well, Halloween. Make RPGs, but this time collaboratively, very niche genre, but still cool, I wish I had the time to dedicate to it. 
Bridge Curse 2 is another game I've mentioned before, but just a quick mention now to say that it does have a North American release that has been confirmed. When I talked about it last time, I'd only seen the European release. Alright, let's move on to some Play Asia imports. Remember, if you want to pre order any of these, you can get 5% off with the code JORDAN24. Soldner X Complete Edition is a double pack of shooters and it's going to be exclusive to Play Asia. They have a standard edition and a limited edition, which comes with a triple soundtrack CD. A decent amount of content for shooters as well. Some say they're a little bit boring, not quite the standard compared to, you know, Japanese arcade shooters, but still nice to have if you're more of a casual player. You can pre order right now. Tokyo Cronus and Alt Dias Beyond Cronus is a double pack of two games that are very much erring on the side of visual novel. What's so unique about these games is that they used to be VR games. So there's definitely going to be a bit of uniqueness lost in these ports to a non-VR system, unless they plan on getting Labo up and running again, but I doubt that. This Japanese double pack will have English for both games, releasing August 1st. It's coming in a standard edition, as well as a collector's edition, which contains acrylic boards for each game and a novel, which will probably be in Japanese. Some, some convenience store is getting a release in Japan with English on the cartridge. This is a Korean visual novel from like 2020, but this is the first time it's getting released on the Switch. There must be some kind of like fetish for convenience store workers. It's far too common in VNs for it not to be. Anyways, this has management gameplay within the visual novel and is supposed to be very highly regarded. There's an affordable standard edition as well as a collector's edition which comes with a visual box, soundtrack CD and acrylic panel. Looks really good actually, you might have to pick this one up myself. I believe it's from the same people as Miracle Snapshot but has a lot more story to it. Inazuma 11 Victory Road has been confirmed for a physical release in Japan, and it will have English. I still think it's likely that this will get a Western physical at some point, especially in Europe, but this is finally another entry in the super unique series of RPG and footy, mixed in with some shonen anime for kids. It's aimed at a younger audience, obviously, but hopefully it's just as fun as the other entries. And a quick mention to Madison, which does have a Western physical, but it's getting a Japanese release this summer, and it's coming in a collector's edition. Why this is interesting is because the North American version is surprisingly expensive to get these days. I don't know what's going on with you North Americans. You guys crazy. But yeah, it's like hundreds of dollars or something stupid. So yeah, you might want to get this Japanese version instead. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a few new announcements from these past couple of weeks. Please let me know which new announcement has taken your fancy. And if you'd like to pre-order any of them, then please consider using the links below in in the description and the pinned comment, that really helps out a lot. I really appreciate the support and I hope you all have a magnificent weekend.